TSMC says its three nanometer process for its next generation silicon chips will hit volume production in 2022. Meanwhile, its five nanometer N5 chips, which should ship in products later this year, use 30% less power than the N7 chips. So all one can say is Intel continues to fall further and further behind. Quoting Anantech. Starting off with TSMC's upcoming N5 process node, which represents its second-generation deep ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet process node after the rarely used N7 Plus node, TSMC has been in mass production for several months now, as we're expecting silicon shipping to customers at this moment, with consumer products shipping this year, Apple's next-generation systems on a chip being the likely first candidates for the node. Today's biggest news was TSMC's disclosure on their next big leap past the N5 process node generation family, which is the 3 nanometer N3 mode. We've heard that TSMC had been working on defining the node back last year with progress going well. Contrary to Samsung's 3 nanometer process node, which makes use of GAA or gate all around transistor structures, TSMC will instead be sticking with FinFET transistors and relying on innovative features to enable them to achieve the full node scaling that N3 promises to bring. Compared to its N5 node, N3 promises to improve performance by 10 to 15% at the same power levels or reduce power by 25 to 30% at the same transistor speeds. Furthermore, TSMC promises a logic area density improvement of 1.7x, meaning that we'll see a 0.58x scaling factor between N5 and N3 logic." End quote. 